and the rain has stopped falling, but the next warnings are for snow and ice as the outlook stays cold for the next few days. Monday. Good morning. Now, we saw Richard earlier talking about the fact that despite it having stopped raining, we still have many flood warnings in force across England. In fact, 169 flood warnings in force still across England because the river levels rising as the catchments start to fill up, as the river levels start, the water starts to come down the rivers. In fact, over the weekend, between Oxford and Reading, right along the River Thames, many areas had their highest level ever recorded. And this is the normal level here in Reading, and it broke its all-time record at the River Thames at Reading, and that caused scenes of flood. Good morning to you. Last week, it was about the rain across the UK and how exceptionally mild it was. We saw the scenes of flooding that we had over the weekend with river levels slowly rising. The welcome news is that it is drier as we head through this week thanks to high pressure. It blocks these weather fronts making progress, but it's also been dragging down some much colder because it will feel cold. So let's see how things pan out as we head through the next seven days. It takes us all the way through the week and on into the weekend. And the message is that it is largely dry, but also turning very cold. It was this weekend we saw the big change to the colder and drier. The north of the UK, Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, there's our average line and temperatures remain below average all week with these nighttime frosts. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK. With that high pressure doing its very best, it stays largely dry. The middle of the week, it turns a little bit cloudy, the cloud thick enough to produce the odd spot of rain or drizzle, but generally staying dry. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Again, a big drop, about 10 degrees down on where we were last week with our temperatures way below average. And percentage chance of rainfall, the outside chance of seeing these sleets and snow showers across the south and east. But then the outlook is fine and dry and it lasts through the whole of the week and on into the weekend. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. A very different looking week of weather ahead. Last week it was mild, it was wet. We still have flood warnings in force. River levels are set to settle in the next day or two. But the big theme is cold, frosty, icy, sunny, and more importantly, largely dry. I say largely dry warning for some snow showers for the southeast of England. Good morning to you. With hundreds of flood warnings and alerts still in force and the scenes of flooding this weekend, the welcome news is the weather this week is drier. Largely dry for all of us, but much, much colder with the return of frost, ice and fog, but also some much needed sunshine. So here's how it looks first thing this morning. Clear and cold with temperatures widely below freezing and a warning for showers in the southeast of England and Northern Ireland could bring the risk of ice first thing this morning. But today, it is crisp winter sunshine that's the name of the game, about 10 degrees colder than this time last week, with highs of just four or five.